Hello, everybody. How you doing? I am Aquatavius, and welcome to Survival Island. This is the adventure where we began with no island at all. We're just out here stranded in the middle of the ocean trying to make it work. And as you can see, we have come a long way. Now, the first thing that we're going to do today actually comes from a suggestion from one of our viewers saying that we have a silk touch pickaxe, which is great. I mean, of course, that's great, but but we're going to do something cool. So we're going to make our way on over to the treasure island looking beautiful as ever. All right. And we are here to take some turtles back with us. Ooh, that looks cool. So we got six of them and we made it back to our second island we created and we're going to plant them here. Plant them? Do you plant eggs? We do now. And we'll keep them together so that they feel more safe out here. Now, those guys should hatch soon enough. And while we're waiting for that to happen, we have discovered an issue with the slime farm that we made in the last episode. So the trap doors that we used here for the killing chamber actually make it so that if a large slime and a medium-sized slime are together, neither of them can get through. So we have to at least replace one of these as a sign. Now, the thing is, since we're out here in the middle of the ocean with no trees, we only have two birch planks left. We can't make any more signs. So we have to use one from another location. But the only spot that we have extra is our spider farm. And we needed those 16 signs to be able to hold the water back so that the spiders can fall. But as this situation of not having wood has caused us to be more intelligent, we have found a way to make this work. So let's climb on up here and hope we don't get attacked by a spider along the way. And okay, we're here. We're good. All right. So we're going to break all of these signs. So the base of these signs is this trap door. Beautiful. No, am I stuck? Come on, get us out. What is this madness? Now I'm going to go down here to see if there's any that fell. Yes. Okay, good. Good call. I can't get out again. <gasps> Ooh, hello. If that was its own mob, this would be so cursed. But yeah, we did get our 16 signs, which is great. And I'm going to deal with this guy in a moment. Okay, so what the trick is now is we're going to put a sign on the side here. And then put a sign on top of it. And just do that on each side. And now all we have to do is put two seed pickles on each side of the sign. And the great thing about this is that spiders are larger than one block wide. So if they go into the corner, they'll fall off. If they go here in the middle, one of their sides is going to touch the water stream that goes to the edge and they will fall off. This now allows us to get eight signs that we can use anywhere else. So we're going to make our way down. And the other thing I didn't mention is that those sea pickles do not light up because they're not fully submerged. So it is still completely dark up there. And before we go put the signs down in the slime farm. Ah, uh, it's right. A spruce sapling. Uh-huh, exactly. See, he gets it. He knows. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this solves our situation. I'm torn, though, because we have the five emeralds to get this sapling. But it's the wrong sapling. Ah, uh, ah. I mean, we could use the spruce, but we, we need apples. And uh, apples are only available from oak trees. But this, this is huge. This means we'll get our wood. We'll get wood. We'll survive out here. Oh, this is amazing, though. We can't get... Is there anything else we can get? <laughs> uh, he's really excited. He's like, here, I got you a tree. It's the wrong one. I'm sorry. This is what's going to save the series. If it wasn't for this guy, it wouldn't be a good time. So we have to kill the invisible man now. So, of course, we will tame these two and add them to the farm. Oh, and I just realized these guys are white. We had the cream colored ones this entire time, but we now have two white llamas. That's awesome. We have some variants here. Well, enjoy your new home. Oh, oh, hello, precious. Oh, we got an axolotl. Okay, we're, we're starting to get distracted here. We need to focus on what we were doing. Oh, he's so cute. I, I, I love this. Okay, okay, okay. Focus, focus. We need to come down here and replace these trapdoors. <laughs> ah! So now these slimes can efficiently die. And now we have six signs and three trapdoors left, plus our two birch planks. And again, that's all the wood we have now. But at least we were able to get some from the spider farm. That's awesome. But speaking of the spider farm, we're not 100% done with it yet. Just like this shows, 
we are still losing out on some string. So we're gonna grab that real quick. And we need to make this rail system cover the whole bottom. Now to make rails, it requires a stick. So we would have to make these into sticks. Now, if you guys didn't know, Gerald here can get sticks on occasion from witches, but it's quite rare. But wait to all you technical Minecraft people out there. We could actually make rails without any sticks. Well, how do we do it? You first take some stone, make a stone pressure plate, put it here, redstone there, and iron on each side. So now we just made a rail without wood. These are detector rails and they don't really do anything for us. But now we have more rails to put under here. So we're gonna completely reconfigure this and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, we're off to a good start, but we gotta make more detector rails and we'll get 18. <gasps> no! Um, you are not welcome here. Ooh, we're gonna use our bow for the first time to kill a mob. Hey, let's go. Okay, we messed up up there, so we definitely have to fix something. Ah, whew, okay, we're good. You know what? We found the issue. They cannot spawn where the sea pickles are, as it would make sense that they shouldn't. But this guy here, for some reason, the water didn't flow. So he was able to spawn right there. I don't really know how to fix this. Man, I swear this world is just out to get us. Let's continue. And there we go. It'll go all around. Whoa, it switches? It switches because of the detector rail, I think. Yeah, it switches. Okay, spider farm is done now. But now we are running a little bit low on iron, so we're gonna go around our entire base here in this uh, incredible storage system and try to find all the rest of our iron and see what we've got. We even got one from a zombie from Gerald. And as we can tell so far with our iron, we have a little bit over two stacks. That's enough for now. We are not gonna do a mining expedition just yet to get more. We will do that later when it's necessary. But at least this means we can make a bunch of detector rails, and we're actually gonna do that right now. Because regular rails are the only kind of rails that can go on the corners and turn. Any other kind of redstone rail cannot. So these are gonna be very valuable for us. So we're just gonna replace all of the straight ones with the detector rails. So now we have a total of 26 detector rails, 11 regular rails, and two powered rails for whatever we may need to use it for in the future. So we're gonna put these rails away and work on the next project. Now, this is gonna be a fun one because it's decorative. And I think over here might be a good spot. So as you can tell, we have all of this lovely coral out here, but I don't wanna disturb it. I wanna leave it just the way it is so that it maintains its natural beauty. So that means we're gonna make a coral farm. So to get things started, we're gonna place a 13 block long row with a block on each end and place our rails. And then we're gonna take a redstone signal from this detector rail on both sides and link it up to the middle. And we'll put a block here. This way, if a minecart goes over it, yes, it should light up. So it'll alternate powering that block. Now on top of that block is going to sit a dispenser. So we have to go over here and find a bow that's available for us. And we may have to repair a few because I believe you have to have a full health bow to craft a dispenser. And yes, you do. Oh, it is so close to full health. Okay, but here we go. Oh, and our anvil broke. I mean, honestly, we've been living out here for 201 days. I'm surprised it actually didn't break earlier. So we'll craft our dispenser now. Oh, Phantom. Hello. We're gonna make our dispenser now and replace our anvil. And there we go. And we still have over a stack of iron, so we're doing great. We're gonna put the dispenser up like this, facing upwards, put some bone meal into it, and let's see if it tries to tick. All right, and this will work, perfect. So we're gonna make the rest of the floor here stone. And that's gonna be a four wide by nine long platform. And now we need to grab some glass, which I believe we have some over in our house. Yes, okay, 10. So we're gonna make these into glass panes, but we need more than 16. So we're gonna mine a little bit more sand out here. And the last time we did this was like, I believe episode two. Now while the sand is smelting into glass, we're gonna box in this whole area. And we're also gonna build this up so that it'll be in total four high. And we need to put slabs in the front. Ooh, our turtles must have hatched. That's so awesome. Okay, so then with this back part here, we just need to put the glass panes and hopefully this should do the trick. And the last thing to do is to put water in here in a very specific way. So we have to completely cover the second layer here and put water so that it flows towards the panes. If this wasn't such a pain in the bucket, Oh, I crack myself up every time. Okay, and here we go. So now we can, ooh, it is, it is raining. And this is actually amazing because we can actually use a thunderstorm 
there is something very special about them that I want us to be able to experience. So yeah, for once, I'm going to uh, pretend that I'm not scared of thunder and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll hope for a thunderstorm. But now that we placed all this water, we can break these blocks. And then we just have to fill up here on the lower and bottom layers. So now this top part is all done, but we have to do something about the storage here. So we're going to build a simple transport system where this water will carry the items into a hopper that we're going to put right here. But where's this hopper, you say? Because we've used all of them. Yeah, we're going to take one from the mob farm. Hopefully this doesn't bite us in the butt too bad. We could always put it back when we're done. And there we go. So now all that's left is just to turn this on. If only someone would turn me on. Hey, whoa, yo, Valentine's Day already passed. Okay, calm down, Aqua. Calm down. And the thing to do is make sure we have our Silk Touch pickaxe out, which we do. Hop into the minecart. <gasps> Ooh! Now, this shouldn't do anything to the durability of our pickaxe. We don't get the seagrass. Now, this also does act as a seagrass farm. If we took shears, which shears do use durability, we can get seagrass from this. As a matter of fact, I want to test that out now. Okay. Ooh! We're going to switch back to the pickaxe for a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to check it out. Now, something to be cautious about is the skeletons sometimes spawn here as uh, spider jockeys. So it's not going to be the best thing to AFK this. This is something that we're going to have to manually do. Oh, but as we could see, we now have a coral farm. So yeah, that, uh, I guess, happens sometimes. Uh, we end up in here when we try to exit the minecart. So we're actually going to take this final layer down here so that we can get out if that happens again. And to make it safe to use now, we're still going to use the coral farm manually. We will not AFK it. But to reduce the risk of sneak attacks, I believe it is in our best interest to build this up a little bit so that if a skeleton comes by, he won't be able to get out. And now we do need to remember to put a torch here. And so we should be completely safe. I kind of just bit my tongue. Oh, and I just realized we could just phase in here and restock the dispenser. And then we could just pop on out and everything is fine, except our ankle, which we just broke. But yeah, you guys might be wondering, why do we need a coral farm? Well, two reasons. One, we could. And the second reason has to do with what we're about to do next, which has got to be my favorite part so far. And I'm also going to enjoy this with you guys in a live stream. So if you guys want to come hang out while we are making these episodes, the link to it will be in the description. So while we enjoy our time together, we're going to take this guy and search for all of the other colors. So we're going to do some cave exploring. I'm so excited. Let's go. I threw my baby. No. Okay, he's safe. So the first thing we need to prepare for this journey is more buckets. So we're going to fill them up, clear out a little bit of our inventory and get going. <gasps> oh, yeah, we found a brown one. Get in my bucket. Now he has a friend. No. Ah. Okay. A skeleton shot us out of the water. Rude. Wait, we need the door. <laughs> Duh. We can't go without the door. Whoa, this is so cool. And I hear one. <gasps> oh, we found magma blocks. That's insane. We can use those now for the slime farm and get all of our signs back. Okay, we're gonna try to find the axolotl first. <gasps> oh, okay, it's another brown one. Dude, this place is huge. Oh, oh, hey, it's a pink one. Gotcha. Look at that. Now they're just missing one more friend. <gasps> oh, and a crimson fish. I'm just saying, we don't have one of those and we need to add this to our aquarium. We're just taking W's out here. <gasps> Ooh, bubbles! Even more magma blocks! So we now have a great supply of magma blocks. This is insane! So awesome down here. Now we can truly live under the water if we really wanted to. <gasps> Ooh, a glow squid! Ah! Oh! Oh, zombies! And creeper. Okay, he, he's just chilling, having a good time with them. <laughs> I'm out. Ooh, and a purple fish! This is why I brought extra buckets. I love my fish, man. Mr. Dolphin! <gasps> oh, yes, yes! Okay, okay. Gotcha! Now we have all four. Now there is a fifth one that we can get. However, it is only by breeding these guys together. And then there's a one and a 1,200 chance that we could get a rare variant. 
So, of course, that's what we're gonna do. And these caves have been so fun to explore. And it's raining again. Maybe this time we'll get a thunderstorm. Ah, uh, we left our door. <laughs> we gotta go back and grab it. Oh no, let's hope we can remember where that was. Hey, we found it. Put that back and put that back. Now the question is, where do we put them? Oh no, spider broke the system. So I just moved the wall out a little bit more over here and we shouldn't have an issue again. So as I was saying, we need a spot to put these guys. And I was thinking, why not put it in the middle of our kelp field? So we're gonna take this all down. And wow, look at this. So yeah, I'm thinking we're just gonna make a giant like chamber here. And I kind of want to make it out of glass. All right, so we mined out this area here and our shovel is on one durability. Now we did fill up our inventory, but I have half of it cooking in our kitchen already. And we're gonna put the rest of it there as well. No, do not. I almost just put the wood in there for fuel. That would have been definitely a mistake. We have to be more careful. And we're gonna do a time lapse of this because I'm not good with building shapes. So this might take a while, but at least it'll be quick for you guys. Enjoy. <gasps> oh, it's the brown one. We got visited again. Let's go. One of them uh, had the unfortunate circumstance to uh, fall down there. We can't see him right now. Ah, oh, but let's see what you got. I mean, it wants to give us a flower, but no, I'm I'm good, homie. Valentine's Day just passed. I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm sorry. You gotta go. Woo! We did it again, boys. He wants to go into our house. That's private property. Get out. He made it in. I didn't think he would make it in. <laughs> he's still. Oh my goodness. He's still trying to shoot us while he's spinning. We've already tamed him, bro. I'm your friend. <laughs> Okay, welcome to your new home. Stop starting fights. Oh no. Is there gonna be another llama apocalypse? Please no. I still think No! We're just gonna get out of here and hope they can resolve it on their own. Okay. Alright, we just walked away for a bit and they calmed themselves down. Awesome. And we got this new addition to our family. I love them. Enjoy the grass. So we got the the brown, white, and the cream. Is there another? I thought there was four. Is there a gray one? I don't know. Hopefully, we'll find out. Oh! Oh, my goodness! Ho! Oh. Ho, oh, ho, ho! Dude! Oh, my gosh. My hairs are sta- Oh, my. Wow! That must have struck right here. Oh! Oh, dude, that was so frightening. That was a random, loud noise. Oh, my goodness. That was so unnecessary. <laughs> oh! Jeez, okay, it's back. Why is it taking so long to strike? It literally struck like four minutes ago. And then it's just silent. Oh! Oh! These are not workable conditions. See, this is exactly why I need these live streams for you guys to keep me company and keep me sane because no, I I'm just, I'm not having this right now. Sheesh. I hate this. It's just ripping. Man, and I can't believe I wanted this. Dude, my hair. Wow. Dude, literally the hairs. Ooh, that was beautiful. Okay, why am I going to the spot where it just dry? Get away, Aqua, get away. Oh, that was spectacular, though. Ah, oh, that was beautiful. Okay, but, uh, bye. I I'm too frightened. <laughs> Okay, it's done, perfect. So we just go on through here. Wow, okay, come here. Whoa! So they cannot get out of here. Okay. Oh, they're like approaching cautiously. Oh, a little 
Baby. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, so now we need brown and pink. Ooh. Hey, we got a pink one. And they look so cute in our buckets. Oh, this is the best. Okay, and the trick to getting more fish very quickly is we have to build a, basically a staircase to heaven. You'll see, I'll explain it when we're up there. We're gonna do this out towards the south. And of course, we're gonna use diorite because we know how heavenly it is. I think this is my best work so far. All we gotta do is just put rails on the side of it so we don't fall off. You know what? I think we're just gonna be daring and not use rails. Okay, the real reason is that we will actually have to light up the rails and mobs can't spawn on stairs. So yeah, we're just taking the lazy way out. We'll just have to be careful, of course. So how this works is I'm gonna show you some information in the top left. So we have entities and we're gonna be paying attention to the server part. You notice how it's hovering just below 440. But if we go a little bit this way, you'll notice it's gonna spike up towards 460. And what we need to do is fall down to the water when it's as close to like 460 or above as possible. And you will see a bunch of fish are just grouped here. So we can catch them in our buckets and then feed the axolotls, climb back up to the stairway to heaven, jump on down, get more fish, and continue breeding. And in the process, maybe we can get a cool fish like this guy. Oh, yes. Awesome. Wow, enjoy your new home, guys. So we're going to start with 23 buckets, and we're going to begin breeding them while we are going to decorate their chamber. So you'll see updates along the way, and uh, hopefully I'll see ya whenever we get the new variant. And I'll also show you any new cool fish we get. See you in a bit. This might actually take like two whole days. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is going to be brutal. One in 1200 chance. Wow. Okay. We got this cut out for ourselves. So it's day 227. Uh, let's see how long it takes. I don't think you're ready for this. Welcome to my family. This is Carl, this is Betsy, this is George, this is Frederick, Connor, Mary Beth, Petonia. Oh, uh, but yeah. So as we can see, we have decorated this place. And I love the way it turned out. Oh, but yeah, the thing about this is it is taking a long time to get the fifth variant. As you can see, we've accumulated over 200 axolotls. And uh, honestly... <laughs> I think we're gonna check up on our farms and see how they did in the meantime while we were breeding all of these guys and then call it an episode here and just work on this for the next few episodes because this, this takes a long time. I'm hoping the spider farm did a great job. 38, not bad. That's probably 38 more than we would have gotten if we didn't automate this at all. Why are you here? Oh shit, I'm supposed to not look at him. Ah, I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> Why am I so dumb? This is our first Enderman encounter. Um, help. I believe, I believe. Oh, oh. Got him. Oh my goodness, that gave me a heart attack. We have a whole minecart hopper full of slime balls. Oh my goodness. This went to work. I don't even have enough room for it right now. Okay, so the slime farm is incredibly successful. The string farm is working. And Gerald, unfortunately, I kind of need to be pretty close for it to be working. So while we were over here working with the axolotls, he wasn't really active all that much. And yeah, swimming with these guys is just amazing. And that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. And as always, take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next one. Ta-ta. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, I can't, I can't. We're Scooby Dooby Doo. <laughs>